in this question we are given that uh, v1 vector plus v2 vector equals 0 and uh, we are also given that uh, magnitude of v1 vector equals magnitude of v2 vector equals uh, 2 root 3 and in this case we have to determine this uh, dot product that is v1 vector dot v2 vector so let's see how to determine this uh, dot product for this i'm going to consider this sum that is uh, v1 vector plus uh, v2 vector and i'm going to find the dot product of this sum with uh, itself that is uh, v1 plus uh, v2 so basically i'm finding the dot product of the sum vector with its uh, own sum and so this equals now we can do the distribution i'm going to place it here so that it will be a little bit convenient uh, to write so first uh, i'm going to uh, do the distribution of the dot product that is v1 dot v v1 vector so i put uh, v1 vector dot v1 vector now i consider the other dot product that is v1 dot v2 vector so i put plus v1 vector dot v2 vector then i do the distribution like this that is v2 vector dot v1 vector so i write down v2 vector dot v1 vector plus the last distribution that is uh, v2 vector dot v2 vector now let's simplify this uh, right side expression so here we have v1 vector dot v1 vector and uh, we can use the vector rule here that is uh, if we have a vector a vector and if you do the dot product of the a vector with itself that is a vector dot a vector it's equivalent to the magnitude of a vector and its square so i'm going to write down this v1 dot v1 vector equivalent to magnitude of the v1 vector quantity square plus here i have this uh, v1 dot v2 vector i write down this as it is and now we can also use the commutative rule of uh, dot product that is if we have two vectors uh, a vector and uh, b vector and this equals b vector dot a vector that is uh, dot product of a dot b equals uh, b dot a that means the dot product is commutative so i can write down this v uh, v2 vector dot v1 vector as uh, v1 vector dot v2 vector so even if we change the order in dot product it remains the same and for the last product that is this uh, dot product v2 dot uh, v2 vector dot v2 vector once again i can use this uh, rule that is a vector dot a vector equals magnitude of a vectors quantity square so here i can write down this as v2 vector magnitude square let's continue let me write the left side expression here we have uh, v1 vector plus uh, v2 vector dot v1 vector plus uh, v2 vector and on the next step now i am going to consider this as a dot product so we have a dot product here so v1 vector plus v2 vector is going to be a zero vector so it's basically a zero vector dot with the zero vector once again we can use this rule that is uh, a vector dot a vector equals magnitude of a vector quantity square so therefore we can see that uh, this is equal to v1 vector plus uh, v1 i'm the, sorry this is v2 vector magnitude quantity square and uh, this equals on the right side uh, we can substitute uh, some values uh, this is uh, magnitude of v1 vector equals uh, 2 root 3 so i'm going to replace this magnitude as uh, 2 root 3 uh, this is uh, quantity square plus uh, as you can see here this is v1 dot v2 and here also we have v1 vector dot v2 so it's basically a two times of uh, v1 vector dot v2 vector and uh, this value that is the magnitude of v2 vector is also given as uh, 2 root 3 and we have to take it square so let's simplify this now i'm going to substitute v1 vector plus v2 vector is uh, 0 vector so i put uh, 0 vector it's uh, magnitude quantity square and this equals 
the square of uh, 2 root 3 is uh, 2 square is 4 and uh, root 3 square is uh, 3. So it is 4 times root 3 plus uh, we have 2 times of v1 vector dot v2 vector plus once again we square this uh, 2 root 3. So we are going to get uh, 4 times of 3. Uh, so I can uh, put this uh, 4 times of 3 is uh, 12. I'm going to replace 12 here. And uh, here as well, I replace this as 12. So let's continue. The magnitude of 0 vector is uh, 0 vector. So its square will be 0. So we put a 0 on the left side. And this equals, we have 12 here and we have 12 here. So 12 plus 12 is uh, 24 plus uh, 2 times of uh, v1 vector dot v2 vector. Now we can easily solve for this uh, v1 vector dot v2 vector, which is what we have to find. So I'm going to first subtract uh, 24 on both sides. So I get negative 24 equals uh, 2 times of v1 vector dot v2. Sorry, this is v2 vector. Now I divide both sides by 2. So I get uh, negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. And this equals, uh, we will get uh, v1 dot v2 vector on the right side. So we have found out that uh, v1 vector dot v2 vector equals negative 12.